everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. So things have just gotten a bit quiet at the moment for this week. I have a lot on pre-order, but uh, it's not, uh, some of them are not coming out until next week and then the following weeks after that. So yeah, just a few, a bit quietish. I actually ordered a couple of more of my Midnight Classic editions, but there's actually no sign of them even being shipped yet, which is very odd. So, uh, so I thought for this week, uh, I would take the opportunity to show off my, my 4K Steelbook collection. Now... I'm going to do just the individual titles. Um, I'm not going to do box sets. Like, for instance, what we have here behind me, the likes of uh, Lord of the Rings, the Batman, and even the Harry Potter collection there behind me. I've done videos for them already. I'm not going to go back over them again. So it's just going to be more for the individual titles that I have. So I was counting, and I think I have around... Now, this is on 4K. I'm not the biggest collector of Steelbooks. When I, when I say the, the biggest collector of Steelbooks, now, I do own quite a few. I own... All together in my collection, I probably close to 400 steelbooks. But on 4K, I only own around 40. Uh, I haven't gotten into the, the the steelbooks when it comes to 4K because you know 4K movies are expensive as is. So uh, to try to buy them on 4 and uh, steel uh, steelbook, sorry, uh, it can be quite expensive. So I haven't gone too mad buying with 4K. Uh, so I am just going to show off. I'm going to do it in alphabetical order. I might show 15 uh, uh, steelbooks in this video, I then might do another 15 and another and then 10, something like that. But uh, I will talk a bit about the movies and maybe the transfers or what they sound like. And I will definitely also give you the specs on each disc as well, so you know exactly what you're getting into. So right, let's not waste any time. Up first is my only film beginning with A in steelbook, and that is Ad Astra. Now, we watched this again the other night. Um, it's never going to be one of my go-to favourite movies. I like it, it's a fun movie, does a gr lot of great things on show in this movie uh, some of the cgi uh, is absolutely stunning the planets in this film look absolutely incredible like nothing you've ever seen uh in any other movie and um, the, the premise seems very simple to it look it's his father created this they've done this experiment uh close to neptune it's having a side effect on earth he's basically traveling to neptune to find out basically what went wrong and uh yeah so it's, I'm not going to say too much about it, so I don't want to spoil anything. But um, it has a very simple premise. But what is on, what is on the show um, is quite beautiful. Uh, the 4K move, it's a transfer on it. It is grainy. It's a yeah. It's 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 not heavy grain. It's, it's a light light amount of grain. Uh, it shouldn't be too distracting for all you grain haters. Um, but it's a very, very beautiful transfer. Uh, HDR is absolutely extraordinary on this. Uh, like I said, if you do see some of the planets in it, uh, you'll know exactly what I mean. And it also has a Dolby Atmos soundtrack. So Ad Astra, fun movie. Uh, lot to be, lot of enjoyment to be had from it. So do check it out. And a lovely steelbook as well. Uh, then up next we've got uh, Blues Brothers. Um, I, I can't believe that sh it wasn't. It was only when this film came out in 4K. It was the first time I ever seen this movie. Don't ask me why. I was never too bothered to actually watch it, and uh, I have to admit, my God, I missed out. This film is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the transfer on this is inc incredible. It really is. It's definitely one of my top um, kind of 80s transfers that I've seen on 4K. Uh, just incredibly sharp. Um, the HDR is just, it's its subtle, but it's beautiful. Uh, and if anyone has seen the 4K transfer on this, you'll know exactly what I mean. And I think it does have a Dolby Atmos, do I right? No, it has a DTSX uh, soundtrack on it as well. And uh, it sounds beautiful, because like, let, let's face it, it's, there's a lot of music in this movie. And uh, it's just great to hear it basically splashing out in all channels. Uh, great movie, fantastic sound, phenomenal picture. Check it out, Blues Brothers. Right, I'm not going to go too much into this because I have done a video on this box set. Um, it's not one of my favourite steelbooks, if I'm totally honest. Uh, the Back to the Future trilogy. Uh, I, I mentioned in my video before beforehand about this. Um, it's a lazy attempt, this box set. I, I don't even particularly like uh, the steelbooks, if I'm totally honest. It's... Um, I, think, I think this deserves a lot better than what we did get. Uh, of course, they brought out, Amazon brought out a lovely edition where uh, I, I can't, it actually came in this deluxe box set and you did get these steel books inside that deluxe set and that looked a hell of a lot better. And there's also a plutonium edition coming out uh, that looks a hell of a lot better as well. So um, I missed out on both of them, unfortunately. I actually ordered the, uh, the plutonium one on Zavi. Uh, for some strange reason, they sent me an email there a couple of weeks back and told me it was cancelled. So, yeah, so I'm not going to be getting it. But, um... 
the 4K transfers in these films, look, they're just absolutely extraordinary. Um, by far the best they have ever looked, and they're probably the best they will ever look. Uh, but all three of them have a Dolby Atmos soundtrack as well. Uh, I think it does have, I think these might have, the, they do indeed. It's a HDR and a Dolby Vision on both, on all three discs as well. Uh, the Dolby Vision looks extraordinary. I actually started watching the first one again because I just recently bought a new um, OLED TV. So I'm kind of going over my 4K movies again. And of course, Back to the Future was always going to be one of the first that I checked out. Uh, the Dolby Vision is beautiful. If you have a display to actually view these films in Dol Dolby Vision, you're definitely in for a treat. It's just a shame about the box set. It could have done a hell of a lot better. So that is Back to the Future. I'm not going to talk about the movies. Let's face it. We know exactly what they're like. So up next... We've got Blade. Uh, I'll actually just take it out. It's actually in a slip cover, this. So uh, that's the steelbook itself. Um, this is, again, another great... Well, I was going to say a great trilogy, but I, I can't stand the third one. Uh, the first two are absolutely fantastic. I'm really hoping that we do get a second uh, a transfer on the 4K transfer on the uh, second one. Because it definitely, definitely deserves it. Uh, the transfer on this movie is stunning as well. Um... Just watch the opening sequence with the 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 kind of the the rave party and all the blood. It just looks spectacular. Uh, very nice, um, very nice uptick in resolution as well. Uh, clarity, clothing, textures all look beautiful. Uh, and if you're a fan of this movie, this is def definitely the way to go. I think it has. Let me just grab the slip cover if I can find it. I think it has. It does have a true Dolby Atmos soundtrack as well. And as far as I remember, it's been a while now since I watched it, but as far as I remember, the Dolby Atmos does the job, and uh, it's just an all-round great transfer and great sound. So, yeah, that is Blade, and it's actually a nice addition from Xavi as well, I have to give credit when credit's due. So, up next, we have, gosh, uh, Birds of Prey. Um, I don't know, this film's a bit of a mixed bag for me. Um, it was nothing near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I, when I first got it, I kind of it was one of them films that I bought it, and I was like, right, this I'm gonna hate this movie, but I was pleasantly surprised. Um, but again, at the same in the same breath, I, I wouldn't be in a big rush to go see it again either. Um, but what is on show on this 4K is beautiful. It's a very colourful movie. So uh, your HDR and again, will I check? Yes, yes, you have your Dolby Vision as well. And uh, the Dolby Vision, I haven't seen it on the Dolby Vision yet because I haven't gotten around to viewing it again and I don't even know if I will or not but um but as far as I remember on the HDR side I think it looked it looked quite beautiful because like I said it is a very colorful movie and it does have a Dolby Atmos soundtrack as well and uh, I think again it's just an all round it look it's a, it's a fun way to pass two hours and it's a great looking transfer and uh, great sound as well so birds of prey um right up oh, here we go now we're going to start getting into the good stuff Right, so this is going to be my Carpenter collection on Steelbooks. So, up first we have Escape from New York. I, oh my god, these Steelbooks, these four Steelbooks uh, by Studio Canal uh, are beautiful. I love the artwork. Some people didn't like the artwork on these Steelbooks. Uh, particularly on this one, I think that is stunning. Uh, I really, really do. Um... Again, when I bought my new TV, this was another one of them films. This was my go-to movie. This film is dark. Uh, you really, really need an, an OLED TV to really appreciate this film because it is so, so dark. And you also got a Dolby Vision as well in this. And I'm, I gotta tell you, folks, what's on show here is spectacular. This is by far... It was never a good-looking movie. Uh, it was one of them movies. We, we They came out so many times on Blu-ray... You never thought we were going to get a good transfer. Then I think Scream Factory brought out a release of it. And they basically gave us a taste of, oh wow, finally we actually can, we can finally get a good picture with Escape from New York. And then all of a sudden then Studio Canal brought out the 4K. And it just trumped everything that came out before it. Uh, it is an absolute solid movie. Phenomenal transfer. It has a 5.1 DTS audio. That's the only thing that's holding the back. We could have done with an Atmos soundtrack. Uh, but other than that... This is uh, definitely up there on one of my top top movies. Um, right, so up next. Yes, one of my favourite horror movies of all time. Definitely up there. Uh, the Fog. Uh, and look at that artwork. It just, like, you don't need anything else. It's just beautiful. That is perfect. That just, that just pitifies The Fog. It's a creepy, 
just a creepy ghost story. And again, I watched this as well just recently. Uh, this is a stunning, stunning 4K release. Dolby Vision as well, beautifully used. Um, especially when you see the scenes now with the fog. Uh, it just the fog just comes to life now. It just has a just a, yeah. It looks so beautiful. And uh, if you are a fan of this movie, my God, you have to get the 4K transfer on this. This just like Escape from New York. It had a bad history on Blu-ray. It just had again poor quality on Blu-ray. And again, and I have to give credit as well when credit's due. Scream Factory brought out a release, and uh, they've done a very good job in it. It looked beautiful. And then. Studio Canal basically kind of carried on what they'd done and we got an absolute stellar, stellar re release. Uh, and it has it just like Escape from New York has a 5.1 DTS audio and it gets the job done. Sounds fantastic. So up next we have, gosh, carrying on, we've got Prince of Darkness. Uh, this film uh, is kind of weird. It's, it's, I love the film. I love nearly everything that John Carpenter done, but I do kind of look at this movie and kind of go, this is the start of kind of Carpenter's fall, I found. Um, he never had, he never even came close to having uh, the f uh, a good film, like a, a phenomenal film like he had before the, the, this release. Um, when you actually look at everything built up to this release, it's just, everything is just stunning by him. But um, I still, like, like I said, I, I love this movie. Um, it's not one of my you know, go to Carpenter movies, but I still do love it. Um, I love that, like I said, I do like Village of the Damned, I like Memoirs of the Invisible Man, I like Escape from LA. They're just, they're just not near as good as the likes of The Thing, The Fog, Escape from New York, uh, The Assault and Precinct 13, the likes of that. Uh, this is another fantastic, fantastic uh, transfer. I knew that this when this came out in 4K because I actually had the Blu ray of it, and I remember the Blu ray looked incredibly sharp. So I kind of figured that when this came out in 4K, I knew there wouldn't be a whole lot to, to, to be done to it to make it look beautiful. And uh, I did it in this appointment when they brought it out. It looks stunning. Uh, Dolby Vision as well. It's got DTS 5.1. So uh, again, Carpenter fan, this is a must. Check it out. And I think if a lot of these steelbooks are actually available on Amazon. I think they came out. They brought out a second, a second issue of them. And uh, they're, I think they're available again. So brings me on to the last one of John Carpenter, Day Live. Um, this is a. I I I I I don't actually know. I don't even know if he ever actually said it. What what his John Carpenter's what he thought was his favorite movie, but something tells me this film might be up there for him. Um, this is a, again another incredible movie. Uh, Rowdy Piper, Keith Davis. Uh, I keep going back about that the the fight sequence the two of them have in this movie. Uh, it is an absolute blast to watch. Uh, again, in Studio Canal, phenomenal job on the picture. Uh, Dolby Vision HDR, uh, 5.1 DTS audio. Uh, this is just an all-round stunning movie. And again, if you're a Carpenter fan, this is definitely a must for you. So check it out. There they live. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, I'm nearly sure that um, uh, Scream Factory I think brought out two 4K releases. I know Day Live was one, one of them, and Prince of Darkness might be the other. And both of them, I think, came with Dolby Atmos soundtracks in America. So, you know, it's maybe one to think about. I'm actually doing, I am think considering buying them again. Uh, to, just to get them for the Dolby Atmos soundtrack. Because, uh, you know, anything to do with John Carpenter. Yeah, I'm just going to buy as many issues as I can from him. So, up next, we have a film that I haven't actually seen. So, I can't say much about it. Uh, Creed 2. Uh, I do, I have, I have an idea. I think it's... Um, Ivan Drago's son, he's fighting Ivan Drago's son in it, um, and I presume that Ivan Drago himself is, must be managing him in the movie, so I don't know much about the movie, I can't talk about the transfer, um, don't ask me why I never got around to seeing this, because i uh, seen Creed, and I thought Creed was very good, I kind of figured, I think what put me off buying this was because it came out so quickly after Creed, I thought it was going to be one of these rushed jobs that and it probably wouldn't be in that great of a movie. But um, I just need a bit of time to actually or kind of be in the mood to watch it. But I, I think I heard good things about it. I think I'm, I'm nearly sure that I am going to enjoy it. I'm hoping I will anyway. But uh, let me see what we've got. We've got a Dolby Atmos soundtrack on this as well. And we've got no Dolby Vision. we got HDR. Uh, so, again, I can't talk about it. But uh, in the comments, let me know what the film's like and the transfer. Kind of curious to hear. Uh, right. 
Up next, a very disappointing movie. Actually, no, when I saved it, disappointing. I actually knocked it off after 40 minutes. Uh, did not like this movie at all. I didn't like to see. I didn't like what was on show. Um, but on the plus side, uh, the picture quality is absolutely stunning. Again, just let me check the back. Of it. I know there's a Dolby Atmos soundtrack. Uh, I don't. Oh, there is. We have Dolby Vision as well. So uh, as far as I remember, the Dolby Vision looks beautiful. Again, I only seen 40 minutes of this movie, folks. Uh, I just didn't like what was on show. Uh, way, way too cheesy for me. And as a matter of fact, I think the Fast and Furious franchise has just gone to pot now. I've seen the trailer to the latest movie, and it's just... They're, they're, they're gone too far with them, I think. Uh, just, yeah, I'm starting to kind of fall out of the, the whole fan, uh, Fast and Furious franchise, uh, franchise unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, Hobbs and Shaw. And it's not even a great-looking steelbook either, if I'm being totally honest. Uh, I'm not quite sure why I even bought it. Uh, right, up next. Now, this is absolutely stunning. Uh, we have got The Fifth Element. Uh, this is a Luke Besson movie. Uh, you, Luke Besson, he's just he's out there when it comes to directors. And uh, if you see this movie, you know exactly what I mean. Uh, this transfer is an absolute stunner as well. It's It has everything you could possibly want. Okay, granted, some of the CGI scenes are a bit soft, but that's expected. Uh, but it's an absolute incredible movie. Dolby Atmos soundtrack, phenomenal. This is now, this is what I like to call a demo wordy disc in all formats on uh, on the sound and video. Um, just incredible, phenomenal movie. Uh, very, I think it's very a very underrated sci-fi movie, if I'm being totally honest. Uh, I think it's an incredible film. It is out there, but it's an amazing movie. And if you haven't checked this out, do check it out. It's, yeah, you'll love it. Uh, great movie. So up next, we have Gosh. Definitely up there with one of my favorite 4K transfers. And it's Grease. Um, this film doesn't get talked about enough when it comes to 4K. This film, if it definitely be one of them movies that if someone came into my house and went, you know, what's the big deal with uh, which, uh, 4K, this would be the film that I'd show them. Uh, this is the most vibrant movie you will ever own on 4K. Uh, it is an absolute, it's, it's a masterclass in 4K. I cannot believe how good this film looks. It's what, 1978? Is it 78? Uh, give me the year. I can't get the year. I think it's 78, 78, 79, something like that. And I just can't get over how good this looks. There is one or two soft scenes in it, uh, but that is expected. Um, there is one scene, I think it's when uh, Danny is not talking to Sandy. Or, they, they had an argument and it's it's uh, there's a bit where she goes up to, to to put a song on a jukebox that's what it is and he comes up and he's kind of jealous that he's she's with another fella but um that scene looks all very very soft for just for around two three minutes not it, it must be something to do with the the original the the reels or whatever it was shot it must be in poor um poor um condition and uh just yeah it just looked very soft for them three minutes uh we guess we don't get a dolby atmos soundtrack unfortunately it's a true dolby uh dt i'm uh, sorry do true uh I'll be true 5.1 5, 5 sorry and it, it definitely gets the job done as well but um this deserved an atmos soundtrack as well but uh, a gorgeous steelbook as well and has a few magnets inside as well uh, that i actually have never actually taken out i don't want to touch them but um yeah great movie if you're a big fan of grease do check it out and my last film that i'm going to show off here now is i actually literally done a video on it just there a couple of days ago and it is godzilla um now, I talked about this movie, I actually watched it, and I thought it looked beautiful. Yes, it is dark, uh, but I still thought it looked beautiful. Now, I watched it again, and I watched it on my new Dolby, uh, my OLED, my new L LG OLED, sorry. Um, now, the film was dark, it's, 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 it hasn't changed at all, uh, but what you, what you see with OLED on this movie is incredible the black levels are stunning it's just oh my god i i do and i keep saying this to people i i love i love every facet of 4k i love bright vibrant films like the likes of um uh what's it called the greatest showman uh looks beautiful greece looks beautiful but i love my dark movies as well i love the likes of the, uh, godzilla i love the, uh, the likes of the nun 
If you actually watch the Nun in 4K, uh, they're just stunning. I love how black level, especially if you get the black levels right, uh, it just looks so so beautiful and then not only that but when these when they, they see the scenes that become vibrant when they do when you do get a bright scene in this movie wow the transitions between the dark and the bright it just looks absolutely stunning and uh i absolutely recommend this to anyone that actually has an oled tv uh you are going to love this release uh, so i'm not going to get into too much with it uh i done a video just it was my last video just uh just check it out and see what just uh, see what you think is ourselves but um it's a great movie uh fun movie good way to pass two hours and a phenomenal transfer as well and the sound is demo worthy as well so that is it folks that is my first part that i'm going to do for my steelbook collections um i'm going to do probably i might do you know what i might in the next video i might just do the 15 uh the last sorry not the last 50 last 25 i think it was was it yeah the last 25 so um Again, I just hope you, this just gives you an idea of, you know, when it comes to just picture quality on 4K movies, uh, people are a bit hesitant sometimes to get certain movies. Um, the great thing about me with these movies, I've watched a lot of them on OLED and I have watched a lot of them on, I actually have an 8K television as well. And um, so I have a good, definitely a good understanding of some of these films and how they look in great on 4K. And... Trust me, if I say they look good, they do look good. Uh, because they've been tested a few times. And uh, they're definitely worthy of your time. So that is it, folks. That is everything. And uh, I hope to have my next video out, hopefully, sometime next week. So if you did like this video, please do give us a thumbs up. And if you could, leave us a comment and let me know what you think of these transfers as well. And uh, I'll see you all again real soon with my next video. So take care, folks out there. See you soon. Bye-bye.